The reason why I'm so interested in learning about all of the things we hear about North Korea is because, well, I do really like South Korean culture, and so obviously, you know, there's that threat with North Korea right there. I get worried about that, but it's much deeper than that. Because not only do I like South Korean culture, I like pretty much all cultures. So, if you like even just one country, even if it's halfway across the world, and you've got this one threat, you've got to know about it. Because if you don't know about it and you're just saying something, nothing's ever going to happen. And it's good to come to meetings to discuss it with other people because you can hear their views. And just when I was here today, I heard someone say something and it's like, wow, I didn't even think of that. Why didn't I think of that? And when we get all this information together, we can try and make a stand to try and overcome things like these and try and make our world a better, safer place. I, um, I, I showed up first because like, I always hear North Korea in the media, like how it's portrayed. I want to see like what other people have opinions on it. Like, and what they believe North Korea's goal is, how they think, and all that. So I would say, like, like any point of view besides the media's perspective and our government's perspective. And I actually learned a lot today. I, I always thought of like North Korea just like a media file. I, I always thought of him as like an internet meme. For like, he's just a comedy, com comedic character. He's like crazy, psychopathic, like you know, like Saddam Hussein or Assad. And I actually learned he's actually. He's actually a pretty smart man, you know. I didn't know. I had no idea that he like his whole look and everything is to portray his grandfather. And it turns out, it actually worked. Like the whole country is full of propaganda, and it turns out, I don't know. It may like it's yeah, it's bad. A lot of stuff he's doing is bad, but it doesn't mean he's crazy or radical. He there is some smartness in what he's doing, and I, I also know some interesting things. Like I didn't know he liked basketball at all, or like he had the the one dude for Chicago Bulls coming to our best friends. <laughs> That's pretty, that's it. So I showed up to this session today because I've been hearing about a lot about North Korea in the news. Specifically, um, there are various missile tests uh, over Japan and also the failed ones. And I've been hearing a lot of reactionary statements of we should just bomb them off the earth. And even though I've tried to understand why we shouldn't, a lot of what I hear is bias, so I feel like a session here would have uh, um, helped me get a more informed and neutral grasp on the situation, which so far today I feel like that has happened. Okay, well, um, I decided to attend because I'm pretty interested in just learn about other opinion, sorry, other people's opinions about North Korea. Personally, I sympathize with their side. I see um, the North Korea side. I'm sorry. I see their point. I see why they do the things they do. And I really do believe that America is just giving them bad publicity and it's just propaganda against them to make us sound better. And I attended the Siva task session today because I also agree with Susie that the United States is very overpowering and that would obviously make any other country uncomfortable and especially a country like North Korea and all they want to do is survive and we're making them uncomfortable they have to be able to defend themselves and that's what America is all about we talk all the time about how our actions are justified because we're defending ourselves and so why don't they have that right so our overall reason for coming was to just learn more about other people's opinions and then express our own to some people who may not see our side mm -hmm.